Hey everyone, today 10 Simply Charming Halloween DIYs. And by the way, if you're new here, I'm Tanya. And if you're returning, welcome back. And I do hope that you all like, share, and subscribe. DIY number one is a crow wreath. The first thing I'm going to do is take a foam wreath from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use some black creepy cloth and I'm just going to keep wrapping that around the wreath until I get it completely covered. This could not have been simpler everyone. Such an easy way to make these wreaths. I pulled out some twigs that I had in my craft stash. These were actually little Christmas twigs, but you could get some from outside. I added some greenery that I had in my craft stash, some beautiful mustard leaves, and I picked those up at Dollar Tree. And I like how the one had the little gold on there. Now I picked up my crows at Timu. They do have them on Amazon also, and I think Michaels has them. I've just made a simple bow with homespun fabric, added a button, and I decided to put this wreath on a stand. I picked up all these wood blocks at the thrift store. Now I'm gonna take some fairy lights, pop them around there. That is actually a paper clip, everyone. Neat little tip, open those up, and it will hold your lights in place if you're using a foam wreath rim. I had these little mustard flowers. I decided to pop those in there. Love mustard and black. Added some pine cones, some white pumpkins, and here it is. I thought this made a beautiful little Halloween wreath, and it's perfect for the fall season. Now for DIY number two, let's create some happy ghosts. I took some homespun fabric and I decided to glue that onto the wood block. And I just pulled that really tight and glued it down. Once you get those two sides down, you can just fold it over really smooth and you're gonna have that extra fabric on the top, but that's okay because we're gonna trim that off because that's actually gonna be the top part of our block and we're gonna cover that all in moss. And then I'm gonna drill a hole right down through the center there. And that's where I'm gonna put another one of the little sticks. And I really liked using those in these designs. It made some really neat little designs. Had these ghosts that I picked up at Michael's a couple years ago and I decided to pull those out and use them. And I just drilled a hole in the bottom. Now we're gonna pop the little ghost right on there. Decorate with some more pine cones, white pumpkins, and some greenery out of my little craft stash. I decided to paint those eyes black and the mouth so the little ghost would pop. I painted him a little friend and everyone here they are. I thought they could not be cuter. What a simply little charming Halloween decor piece. I think these have a real whimsical kind of look to them so I hope you're enjoying. I have 10 of these today so let me know if you're sticking around by adding maybe a little ghost emoji in the bottom. Here is the doll that I'm making. These these are some doll parts that I ordered on Etsy and I can actually make some of these if you would like to have a digital download. Painted the arms, the legs, and the face black, left the body plain. Just simply stitched these together after I stuffed the body a little bit. And look what a cute little doll body. Took some old grungy fabric and just laid the doll down and just kind of trimmed out a rough little dress. And that's the thing about creating these grungy designs. They are so simple, but yet so cute. And once I get that done, we're going to just use that Gorilla Hot Glue to glue this together. That has been working really well for me on gluing the fabric. So that's definitely a tip I would try. Now once I get this glued together and let it set for a minute, I'm just going to turn it inside out and then we're going to put it on our doll. And keep in mind, if you've watched these videos before, I cut the back of the dress open. And that's how I get these to fit on the doll so easily. And once I get this on there, I decide the dress is just a little bit too long because I wanted those cute little legs to be showing, so I do trim mine down. And you can see all I did was just stitch through there and gather the neck area and have that fit around her neck. Then I had a piece of this little lace. I gathered it, just stitched it around and popped it on the neck area, shortened the dress like I was saying, took some more fabric and just glued that on to the inside. This is a neat little tip. And then you can actually fold it up and make it look like a ruffle if you glue it on the back side of there. 
But everyone, these little dolls are so simple to put together. And I have several more of these coming for Christmas. So I hope that you're enjoying these. And keep in mind, you can slow this down even more if you want it a little bit slower. Now for the, uh, the peduncle, as they call it, I just took some rope twine, put several together, and twisted it on top of her head. And now I'm going to take and just sew on some eyes and just make a simple little nose. And I did the little X's on the mouth, and I just thought this made the cutest little pumpkin grungy doll. And once I get her completely done, I take one of my little skeletons, pop in her hand for her little doll, and everyone, sh could she not be cuter? I thought this was the cutest little pumpkin doll holding her little skeleton doll. Now for DIY number four, Witch Boots Bouquet. Now I'm going to take these little witch boots from Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and just use that duct tape again and tape over these because I hate having to take that tinsel off and this works so well. And I decided I wanted them to be a little bit taller and the foam was great for me to do the bouquet in. So that worked really well. But these made a beautiful little Halloween decor piece. And I just think these are so whimsical and charming. So I hope that you're enjoying these today. And the duct tape is something I like to use on a lot of these designs because I think you can really build up whatever creation that you're making and then you can apply fabric or you can put paper on it and it just makes it really nice and you can really form a nice shape. Look how adorable these little boots turned out, everyone. Now, I had this scarf from Dollar Tree, and I just noticed it really has kind of a purpley tint, which I thought that was kind of neat for these boots. But I do go over it with some black paint, and I actually sprinkle it with a little bit of cinnamon, and that kind of made it really have like a little bit of a grungy look to it. And I wanted to paint that top part there and cover that completely up. Most of the flowers do hide that. And then I just really used my black paint and dusted these with quite a bit of cinnamon. Smelled really good also. Now I'm just gonna take simply wrapping around rope twine from the back to the front and doing X's all the way down. That could not have been simpler. And you just kinda just keep crisscrossing over just like a shoelace. And it made a really simple little strings going down the front of these boots. Now, I wanted to use my little kind of grungy primitive stuff on these, so I decide just to take more of the homespun fabric and glue around the top, and then I have the rusty bells that I had picked up on uh, I think it was eBay a long time ago. Everyone, if you're looking for those items, go on to Etsy or eBay. You can find all kinds of primitive supplies. Just put in what you're looking for. Now here I am, I'm just gonna glue on those little rusty bells and that's gonna finish those up. I found these little, I guess it's like little corn husk or hay, but I found those at Dollar General and I just thought those were perfect for this design. Pulled out some of my greenery. I had these little tags that I had picked up at, um, I got these I think at Hobby Lobby and you see I used one of my little rub-on transfers there. Put some more of the little mustard, florals in there pulled out a few little white ones that i had i always love to add white to everything and this made the sweetest little design and i have a bunch of old buttons that a client had given me and i have been using them on a lot of my designs so i wanted to pop some of these old buttons out right onto the front of that boot took a little rusty pin and pinned on my tag and everyone, this could not be cuter. So I decided to pull out one of my little wood pieces from Dollar Tree, painted it the mustard color, rubbed a little black paint across it, and that's what I'm going to set the boots on to display. And here it is, what a charming little arrangement that this one made. I decided to fluff out my straw a little bit before I displayed it, and that kind of made it look really pretty. But everyone, here it is. I thought, what a beautiful little uh, witch boot arrangement. And I did add a few more flowers that were taller to the back. 
But I hope you enjoy these. I thought these were absolutely adorable. Now for DIY number five, grungy little witch hat. Now I'm gonna take this little wood piece from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna drill a hole in there. I use a skewer for this one and I'm gonna make it a little taller. I just wanted to make kind of like a little vignette scene on this. Took some truffle paint, watered down, and added a little bit of color to this. And then I wiped it off with a, a baby wipe. Here is some old grungy fabric that I had, and I thought this would make such a neat little scene. So I just cut a square out, did the X in the middle, pop that right over that hat. You don't even have to take the tinsel off. I think that's great. Flip it over, and then just kind of tuck all those edges there. And then just cut another piece of fabric, kind of in a triangle shape. And you can just kind of wrap that around the top part of the hat. And keep in mind, this does not have to be perfect because this is meant to be kind of grungy looking anyway. And just glue it down right there on the side and get quite a bit of glue there and then just start twisting because I wanted to make this where the top of her hat kind of twisted into a little knot. And now I'm just going to take some more of this grungy fabric. I did coffee stain this fabric and just glue that around the bottom part of the hat there. And then I take and just cut like little pieces of the fabric just to kind of fray it out a little bit and that kind of give it a really neat little grungy look. Now I just cut a circle to cover that up on the bottom with some of the same fabric that I tied around the hat and that covered everything up where you just could hide all of your little glue mess. But everyone, this made a really sweet little design and we're gonna finish this up with a little witch broom and we're gonna pop that hat right up on the stand there. And I thought this made just a cute, simple, like little vignette to set on a shelf or somewhere in your home for the fall and Halloween season. Now I like to use shredded paper every once in a while from Dollar Tree. So that's what I put on the bottom there. And I just thought that looked really neat. Then I took my broom, took a little sign, used some more rub on transfers from Dollar Tree. I did the moon on this one. And I just thought I'd pop that right in there in the bottom. And then I decided I wanted to use a little bit more of this lace that I had. And I just made a little circle to put right over top of the hat. And that kind of finished this design off. I thought this turned out absolutely adorable. So I hope that you are enjoying these today, everyone. Added some more of my little mustard flowers in here, some more of the greenery. I found this fern in my craft stash and I thought that looked really pretty. But everyone, look how adorable this little witch hat and the witch broom vignette is. Now for DIY number six, let's create bats in a sack. I took these little sacks from Dollar Tree and another one of my wood blocks. I really made use of these wood blocks that I picked up at the thrift store. And I'm just gonna pop that in there, see if it fits well. And then I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna drill five holes in here. And everyone, this one was so simple. I absolutely loved the simplicity of this design. I thought this was just a really cute one. Now I'm gonna pop that back in there, and then I took some really fine wire, but I made sure that it was stiff enough that I could make some paper bats to glue on it, and it really made just a very simple and cute little decor piece for Halloween. And I'm using cardstock. Now I will tell you a little tip. If you paint the paper, it will make them curl a little bit, and that just adds to the effect of the bat to look like it's kind of flying. Now I'm just taking that thin wire and hot gluing it in there. You can see just little sprigs of the wire popping out. Put some foam in there, and then I decided to add that moss on top of the um, pillow stuffing, not foam, sorry. Now I'm going to glue the little bats right onto the wire. And like I said, this was very light and airy, but it worked really well. I did touch up the back of these and covered the glue a little bit. Now I'm gonna add some of the little white pumpkins and pine cones and everyone, look how adorable these little bats in a sack are.
Well, everyone, DIY number seven, spider on a bone ladder. Now, this was fun. I took some twigs that I had from Dollar Tree. These were just little pieces. I haven't seen those again this year. Took some moss, glued all that around one of my wood blocks. Then I picked up these little bones that they had at Dollar Tree, and I decided to make a little ladder to go on top of my little wood block. And then I took one of the little spiders from Dollar Tree, and this could not have been cuter, everyone. This would be adorable, just setting on a shelf somewhere. Somewhere. And I'm trying to use up my florals, so I pulled out the little mustard flowers again. It's kind of a theme in today's DIYs. I painted this spider black, so I wanted it to be all black. But everyone, all I did was just pop that little spider on there, and look what an adorable, cute little decor piece this made. It was so simple, so easy to put together, and I think it just screams Halloween. Now for DIY number eight, witch in a hat. Now I'm going to take another one of the hats. I did take the tinsel off of this one because I needed to get to the top part to create a hole to slide over my stick that is attached to my little wood block. And I'm going to glue that down. That took quite a bit of glue, so you'll just have to hold it there for a minute. And then I decided to take some felt this time and just wrap around there to cover it back up. And the felt worked really well with this design. And same thing, cut the circle out, X in the middle, put it on there, flipped it over, just glued it, folded all those edges up to hide everything, and it turned out great. And then I took some of the... This is like a black burlap ribbon that I picked up at a Hobby Lobby. I just kind of put that on there. And then I just added some more of my homespun fabric. I really like this larger black and uh, cream color a checkered look. And then I filled the hat with some more of the moss. And then I found this ribbon also at Hobby Lobby. I thought this was kind of neat, this burlap. And I decided to make some witch legs out of it. You can see I added another little button on my hat there. And I just thought this would be a fun way to make it look like the little witch was jumping in the hat. And once again, I ended up taking some more of my uh, felt and I just cut out just a shape of little witch boots and all I did was look at a picture on uh, Google and found the little witch boots and just kind of copied it and cut them out. And then I decided that I wanted to go ahead and add some greenery into here and I added some little white pumpkins again and some more of my little pine cones to kind of finish this design off and add a little moss around the bottom of my little wood block. And everyone, here it is. And I thought this made such a cute and charming little Halloween decor piece. Now for DIY number nine, black cats and pumpkins. Now I'm gonna take some of these little black cats from Dollar Tree and I'm just painting random sections of them because I'm gonna be cutting those parts off and I'm making it look like the little cat is peeking out. Wood block again, same stick. And then just gluing some of these pumpkins together that I had picked up at Dollar Tree. I'm using red spice and a brown color to kind of tone down that orange a little. And I really like the color that this makes. And I just wanted to paint over all these. I wanted to, to kind of have more of a subtle look instead of that bright orange. And I'm going to dry these really well. And then I'm going to cut little slits. And now is where I'm going to take those little parts that I cut off and painted. And it's going to look like these little cats are sneaking out from behind the pumpkins. Added greenery, painted the stems cream, added some highlights by lighting the paint up a little bit. And everyone, look how adorable this looks. It looks like these little cats are peeking around the pumpkins. This was so simple, but yet so cute. So I really hope you enjoy this one. Well, everyone, we're about to the end. I have one more of these DIYs, and this is our cute little prim pumpkin. I just took one of the pumpkins from Dollar Tree and some more of the fabric, and I just bought podged that on there, cut it out, and then I just pulled and cut out the inside pieces. And I did something kind of neat on this one. I just took some scrapbooking paper 
and it had like little cute little bugs on there and I thought that was kind of cute to look like the little bugs were in the pumpkin did the same kind of technique just glued pieces of string on there and then just twisted it up to make a peduncle on the little pumpkin and then we're going to do the same thing with this one. I'm just going to take one of my little wood blocks and one of my little sticks and just pop that on there. And it made the cutest little decor piece. While I'm decorating this with a few little accents, I just want to say thank you for stopping by today. I hope that you enjoyed these DIYs. I hope that they give you some inspiration. And I thought I'd just go ahead and put out this Halloween one because it is still October. But I will be going into Christmas after this one. So let me know if you enjoyed these today. Well, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful and blessed Sunday. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you did enjoy these. And I will see you on the next one.